barely out of the armoured troop carrier. Incoming artillery. We're just going to wait in this little basement until the shelling's over. Then they think it will be safe to move forward to the front positions. A few minutes later, safe to come out at this army outpost a few miles from Bakhmut. Last night was hard, a lot of shelling. Call sign Gambit tells us the soldier is still shell-shocked from an anti-tank rocket attack. We're going to get back in the vehicle, try to get a little closer to the front lines. Ten days ago, these troops pushed the Russians back around Bakhmut, but their advance is slowing and harder. We get to a small HQ. Call sign Fox, a former farmer, is readying his troops for their coming shift on the front line, stopping the Russians in Bakhmut from advancing. How hard is that? It's impossible to describe these feelings, he says. You can only experience it. No words can express it. They shell a lot. As we talk, it is clear this war is taking its toll. You only have to look at the soldiers' faces here to know how tough this battle is. They all look worn. They say morale's high, but their faces are telling a different story. We move on towards other positions and stop as the shelling increases. We've just been told the place that we were going to is under heavy shelling, so we're going to pull back from here, go somewhere else. In the battalion bunker, the commander tells us the Russians have ramped up their shelling on his troops since they advanced. Tons of ammo, shrapnel, tanks firing, everything. His unit's drones recorded their recent successes, but now the Russians have regrouped and in a moment of candor following losses the previous night, admits morale is flagging. Let's be honest, he says, we are fighting heavily for more than a year. My soldiers went through many battles and two rotations near Bakhmut. Troops are exhausted, but we endure. Bakhmut, which is just over the hill in that direction, has become an object lesson in how Russia's wealth in men and ammunition can prevail. And that unless Ukraine gets the modern weaponry support from its allies, it's going to struggle to tip the balance. Call sign Fox and his unit load up for their hard miles at the front. An end of war, getting back to their families what drives them into the shelling.